What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another YouTube video where we are back inside of Gran Turismo 7 where in previously, one of the previous videos, we've unlocked a new engine swap that I was very interested in trying out and that is the the uh, Corvette C601 engine and as I just searched up that engine can be put in this thing, the Firebird Trans Am, which this is going to be interesting. Anyway, let's hear this thing uh, start up. Damn, that sounds nice. I mean, I kind of wish he went. Uh, I kind of wish that guy went a little bit more on the the revs there, but that like that grumble was just amazing. Anyway, I'm actually gonna open another engine ticket that I've gotten yesterday. I think so. Let's just see what we get out of this one. Maybe if it's something good, we might we could uh, use this in a future video. It's gonna be the top left one, isn't it? No, never mind. Okay, top right. What is this? R34? I forget what that goes into. Isn't it the R32? I can't remember. I'll have to look it up, but that's pretty cool. Alright. Anyway, let's go ahead and go into the tuning parts and fit this thing, the the Corvette C6ZR1 engine in a Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Let's do it. 639 horsepower. This is gonna be crazy. Alright. Alright. Um. Let's see how much power we can get out of this thing. Probably gonna be like close to a thousand. Alright. Let's fit these. Ooh, nitrous. Yeah, let's go with nitrous. I wanna see how fast I can get this thing. Ooh, supercharger. Hell yeah, man. 855 horsepower. 954? 995! Literally 5 horsepower away from a thousand. So close, man. But it's okay. That's still pretty damn good. Now let's give it some weight reduction. Under 3,000 pounds. Let's go. Uh, I don't need that. Makes me slower, apparently. And I think that's pretty much it. Alright. Let's, um... Let's customize this thing. Should we get the wide body? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Wide body. That looks sick. I don't care. That looks awesome. Stretch that boy. Oh, look how thick she is. Whew, that is beautiful. Alright. Oh, great. Now I gotta wait for this shit to load. I love PS4, man. What a great console. Alright, so I've decided to go with this really cool color called Liberty Blue, I believe, from Pontiac. Which I think looks pretty nice on this thing and I've decided to honestly leave the um leave the stock wheels because honestly they look really good like even with this color I think that I think that looks clean anyway let's put some uh, aero parts on this thing you can't put front side or rear parts wow um no that's ugly that is really ugly. I'm not doing that. Um. Honestly. I might just leave this thing like the way it is. Ooh, caliper color. I'll change this. Definitely. Ooh. I think I'll make it blue to match the paint. That looks good. Alright. 
let's test this thing out in a race. All right, before we take that thing to a race though, let's hear this thing start up with the new Corvette engine. Okay, yeah, that sounds <coughs> that sounds so much better than the stock engine. Wow. That's awesome. All right. Let's take this thing over to some kind of high speed circuit cuz I kind of want to test out the speed on this thing. So let's take it to Le Mans, I think, with the no chicane and see what speeds this thing can get. All right. Let's hear this thing. Come on, load, 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 load. Thank you, holy shit. Okay. Oh my god. Holy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh help, oh lord help me. Oh lord help me. I have built a death trap. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's get this thing under control. <laughs> under control. That's not what I meant by under control. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Man, this thing spins its wheels like a... Ugh. I don't even know. Come on. Gain traction. I have racing soft tires. Okay, we're good? Nope, we're not. <laughs> come on. Okay, let's use the NOS. Wait, come on. Now. Now. 230. 240. Ah! No! <laughs> no! No, bro! What? <laughs> what is that? Oh my damn man, this thing isn't even stable in a straight line. Oh my god. Use the NOS. NOS. Now you gotta be careful when like like in like a centimeter of steering angle and I'm just dead. Like I'm gonna try and steer this. <laughs> I Dude So yeah, um, this thing is pretty damn undrivable, if I'm being honest. <clears throat> okay. Let's try and catch up to these guys, huh? Come on. Go. Go. Stop losing traction. Holy shit. I need to take this thing to like Route X or something and really test out the speeds. I probably just tuned this thing like really wrong. Because I'm asset tuning. <clears throat> Ugh. Come on. Drive. Drive. Smoothly, please. We're good. We're good. We're going. Ooh. We're going. <laughs> Aston Martin Vulcan. <clears throat> Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, this thing is this thing is just a wild animal. Man, this thing can drift though. Damn, look at that. Okay. This thing can actually slide if it's controlled good enough.
Oh my god. Okay. 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 Shh. Calm down. Calm down. Alright. <coughs> Go. <laughs> oh my god, man. I can't. Uh, I can't get this under control. Let's try this thing in first person. Holy shoot. <laughs> oh. It sounds so loud in the interior. Bro, oh my god. Oh no, the Vulcan's catching up. No, you don't, sir. <laughs> Damn, all right. <coughs> what the hell, man? Great. <laughs> I'm just spraying this guy with smoke right now. Alright, let's, let's try and get this thing to go crazy speeds. I'm almost out of NOS, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Alright, we can cruise pretty comfortably at in the 240s. Almost at 250. I just cannot touch the steering at all. Like, I can't touch it until now where I have to and then I'm gonna spin out like right now or surprisingly not honestly I think those Vul that Vulcan kind of helped me uh helped guide me through that corner <laughs> if he didn't exist I probably would have been in straight in the wall <clears throat> all right we're actually passing some guys now so that's pretty good Come on. Thirteenth place. We're making our way up. Barely. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, man. This thing is just out of control. <coughs> shift <laughs> FXXK's Whoa my God, man Oh jeez This isn't going well I've already hit a sign Oh don't pet maneuver me You scumbag I hate you Mr. German man Okay, come on. <laughs> okay. Alright. Well, that is that, I guess. Um, Let's see how fast this thing can go on Route X, because I'm genuinely curious. Alright, so I put myself with at the back of the pack with a bunch of other really fast cars that I could slipstream off of, but <clears throat> considering that with the slight touch of the steering in this thing at high speeds, it will kill you. So I don't even think I'll be able to, you know, use the slipstream to get around people and stuff like that, but we are going to try this out. 
I believe with some help of some nitrous and some downhill. Oh my god. I believe we can get this thing to 300. I think I think we can. We just need We just need uh, enough boost and enough of that downhill. Maybe we can exceed 300. I also put on <coughs> excuse me. I also put on strong boost, so I should be faster in the back of the the grid. I'm not so sure how that boost thing works. I think that's how it works anyways. Oh yeah, I'm still on the boost right now. Can I try and slipstream? Nope, 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 Great! <laughs> I am so sorry, sir. I am so sorry. Alright, let's... Let's... I'm gonna try and put something on that'll, you know, make this thing a little more stable. Okay, so I basically put all of the softness I could on the, um... On the rear and all the stiffness I could on the front. To, you know, make this thing not completely... I don't even know if that's gonna. I don't, I don't even know if this is gonna help, but <clears throat> we're gonna try it anyways. <sighs> All right, <clears throat> see how this thing can do. Two fifty, two sixty. Come on, just a little more. Two seventy. I need to get to that downhill section. Come on, Pontiac. Do be proud. 275? I think my gearing is messed up. I think it might be messed up. I might have to change the gearing. Shit, alright. Um, yeah, it's, it's around... 279, which is pretty fast still, but I... Or 280. Flash for a moment there. Wait, I got some slipstream. 283, 284, and dead. <laughs> Alright, should be able to have shorter gears now. Should be better. Come on! Oh no! Oh! Oh, I made it, I made it, I made it. Holy shit. Downhill! Slipstream! Help me out! It's literally like the same speed as last time, bro. What the hell? I literally did not go... This is literally slower. I somehow made it worse. <sighs> Alright, come on, Pontiac. Do me proud. I fixed the gearing a little bit. Apparently that fifth gear is just super boofed, so I can't even use that, but come on. How fast can we get this? 280? Ah, my thumb is getting tired from pressing the knob so much. Hold on, I can oh. Ow, okay. Um Yeah, that didn't really help much, did it? <gasps> I did not mean to do that. Alright, well, I guess that's going to do it. Got this thing around 280-ish miles per hour. Which is pretty damn good. So I I'm happy with this thing. Um, oh, I tried to hit him. <laughs> I tried to hit him. Anyways, guys, that... That will be it for this episode of GT7. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will... <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one.